Okay, so we've set up our cloud development environment. We've set up our version control with Git and GitHub, and we've set up our web hosting with Heroku. Now it's time to finally start working with actual PHP and learning PHP. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. So we're back here in our cloud development environment, and you've already seen a little bit of PHP, but I wanna spend just a couple of minutes talking about sort of the, the structure and the format and all the sort of boring stuff we need to talk about very, very quickly before we get into more hardcore PHP programming. So I've op opened up our index.php file, and this is what PHP is all gonna look like. It's gonna start with this tag and end with this tag. And this is just a question mark, the letters PHP, that's the opening tag, and then this question mark, and this guy right here, is the closing tag. And what this does is it tells the web browser or whatever, this is PHP, the PHP interpreter needs to be called. And whatever is within these two tags, that's gonna be our actual PHP. So all PHP will start and end like this. Another thing that you're gonna come across and see all the time is the semicolon. Just about every line of PHP code is gonna end in a semicolon. And every programming language is, is a little different. Some end in colons, some don't end in anything. Uh, but PHP always ends in semicolons, so you need to get used to doing that. If you think back to the first or second video in this series, I forgot to add a semicolon and it threw up an error. So, you know, you'll do that from time to time. You just forget to put the stupid semicolon on the end. And so that's something to, to sort of keep an eye on. Another thing, and I've also mentioned this in the past uh, videos, is that all PHP files end in .php. So, like I said in the past, if you've worked with HTML and CSS, your files tend to end in .html, but with PHP, they always end in .php. That's also something to keep in mind. PHP works sort of hand in glove with HTML. So what we're doing here is building web pages, right? So we're gonna be primarily working in HTML, but whenever we wanna do something dynamically within an HTML file, we'll use our PHP. And that's sort of one of the great things about PHP. You can you can take a boring old HTML and, and really add add some cool stuff to it. So let's play, play with our index.php file really quickly. And I'm just gonna type in some very, very simple HTML code to give us a, a framework to work, uh, to start with. So, And you can see as I type this, the uh, code editor here is formatting our stuff for us. And that's a, a nice a nice sort of thing that most text editors will do when you're coding. For instance, if you're using Sublime Text or Notepad++, they'll usually do this for you. This cloud environment text editor does the same thing, so that's nice. So this is my PHP website. Let's give it something simple. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. And I've just given us a very basic HTML structure here. But, let's see what else can we do? Let's do this. And let's give this an h1 tag. So just something very, very basic here. And I went ahead and saved it and let's run our project and grab this URL, open up another browser. Oops. Copy, paste. Okay, and so now we see that we're starting to get a little bit of a little bit of structure, a little bit of uh, styling going on here. It's still very basic. We could change this to page title, save it, reload page title, and we can play around with this if we wanted to. Add some space, push it down a little bit or whatever. Delete that. 
basically I just want to show you that PHP works within HTML files. So whatever your HTML looks like, you're going to embed your PHP code just like it. And if you look at it, it looks like HTML tags. You know, it has the same sort of whatever those are called, brackety things. Opening tag, closing tag, just like this is an opening tag and a closing tag. So it, it sort of feels a little bit like HTML, sort of. So that's fun. OK, so what else do we want to talk about? Before we get into more serious PHP coding, I want to talk very briefly on comments. Whenever you're coding any sort of programming language, it's good to comment your code. And comments are good just so that you can keep track of what you're doing. So if you come back a week later, you look at your code, it makes sense to you because you can read the comments. Also, if you're working with a team, other people need to look at your code, they need to know what you're doing. And right now our code is very simple. We're just echoing out whatever this is. And we understand that just by looking at it. But as things get more complicated, as you do more PHP coding, it's not, always, it's not always obvious what your code is supposed to do. So it's a good thing to put comments. And PHP handles comments in a couple of different ways. You can do two forward slashes. This is a comment. And usually you'll, you'll use the two forward slashes if you just have a very short one line comment, right? The other way is to do one forward slash and then the little multiplication start thing there. And then another little arrow and another forward slash. And this is for multi line comments. Anything you type here gets commented out. So if you have more than just one line, you'll comment like this. So if we save this and then hit reload and then view the page source, you'll see it just says page title. Nowhere is our PHP brackets opening and closing PHP tags and the comments do not show up either. They don't show up on the web page. They don't show up in the source code of the web page. This is just for the actual file itself, just for you to read, right? So let's make a comment here and say echo out some text. Save that. So that's pretty much comments. This is the basic structure of PHP. PHP tags open like this and close like this. PHP files end in .php and PHP goes with HTML. So uh, if you're not familiar with HTML, you probably want to spend some time learning HTML. We have courses that teach HTML at codemy.com if you want to check those out. So I think that's all for this video. In the next video, we're going to start working on actually sort of meat and potatoes, good, real PHP code, none of, none of this echo stuff that we've been doing so far. So stick around.